time for evolution. We welcome you to the Gonna Arch family. And so in today's video, we're going to be talking about uh, the coronavirus, right? So with this whole virus ep epidemic, uh, it seems that this entire world is currently on lockdown. Many people aren't uh, allowed to leave their houses uh, or at least travel to uh, far distances, you know. Because I know where I'm at. I'm still, we're still allowed to leave our houses, just not being, just not to be outside for pro prolonged periods of times because of, of the lockdown. And in this time, a lot of people are fearful. I even know my family, for example, they're, they're, they're fearful. And I believe part of that is due to them constantly watching the news because I don't feel that the news really helps us to be at ease you know they're constantly uh, telling you the death tolls and da 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 and they're constantly feeding you like fearful fearful information um, and then at the same time some of this information isn't true that's that that is being uh, shown on the news uh, so I th and, and, and also at the same time, fear lowers the immune system, making, making people who are fearful easy to catch, to catch diseases, you know, rather, rather it is a virus or, or something else. You, you will catch something if you're in a fearful state because, because this fearful state lowers the, the immune system and certain environments as well lower the immune system, immune system, certain, uh, certain frequencies that you're you're around can lower our, our immune system so I never felt that fear or constantly being in a state of fear was really going to help the situation so I feel that now that people are more indoors now uh, this is a, a great time for for people to start going inward you know understanding themselves or perhaps they want to learn a new skill you know, they want to start a webcomic, become a content creator, or uh, or learn learn how to draw, or you know, just learn learn some kind of online skills, enhance some area in your life. You know, because people are going to be more indoors. I, I think there's an opportunity for people to start, you know, enhancing themselves. And and at the same time, you have the people that are being isolated or like confined within like a family area or, or or like a dysfunctional family area and they can't really go anywhere because of the uh yeah they can't really go anywhere because of the isolation at the same time people are being people are stressful because of the the dysfunctional families and and whatnot and i, th I think there's an also a great time for for uh emotional maturity if you are in this kind of situation, it's a great time to to learn how to really deal and, and, and get get uh, you know get get that shit out of the way. You know, get that uh, get that family get those family quarrels you know to the surface already. You know, and at the same time, learning how to deal with the people in your family because I feel that if you know how to handle your family. You know, if you know how to handle your family, you'll be able to handle people in the external realm. You know, you'll be able to handle toxic people in your external realm. You know, because the family, it comes, it comes first. Essentially, you know, you learn, you learn a lot. Rather, rather, it's a, it's, it's from a very uh, not so well environment. You know, your home is not so well. Uh, you learn a lot from from these experiences that you can like take on towards uh towards your your external or you know just just people other people in general in our, in our world you know you look you can learn a lot from this so this is a there's a great opportunity for for maturity for growth you know emotional growth um financial growth uh and you know skill growth wise and also when we go back to to the financial you know the stock markets the stock markets are down so but this is also a great opportunity to start learning how to invest in, in in stocks or if you want to learn how to invest in crypto cryptocurrency which is like an online currency i'd also look into that 
I look into Ethereum and Monero, etc. I look into these cryptocurrencies because, you know, the way the dollar is collapsing, you know, it's it's going down, and I feel that uh, soon we're going to be moving into a new uh, digital currency because of this. And so there's a great time and a great opportunity to start uh, start looking up uh, investments. You know, start looking look, look, start looking that up. Um, some some channels I'd recommend or is uh, the Dollar Vigilante. You know, you can learn you can learn a lot about uh, cryptocurrency and investment from that person. Uh, and some websites you can check out Coinbase, etc. Um, but yeah, but yeah, I feel that this is a great opportunity for growth, and <clears throat> the reason I'm, you know, I'm not much of a fan of the news is because uh, they won't talk about like the uh, the other half of the people, like the seven seventy thousand people who have recovered from the coronavirus, or and there and, and I know it's changed like the, the the amount of people has changed like has increased who has recovered from from this virus has increased just uh because I know that I, I read that like days ago so I know and you know since every day things increase you know numbers change numbers don't stay static I'm sure it has increased but uh no one will be talking about that on the news it's just it's just an endless train of fear promoting fear people are scared people are getting programmed to buy that fear and then you know their fear their their uh their anxiety is just going to like transmute that into everyone else and then it's not going going to be very healthy for the other people around them and for them themselves you know because again fear lowers the immune system so you want to be you want to be uh you know eat healthy you know stand things eat healthy uh take care of your body most definitely get get yourself some some vitamin uh, c especially some vitamin d uh go outside you know go outside i understand that uh they they want to you know quarantine you into like uh and confine you but it's, it's great to just go for a walk get yourself that that vitamin d you know get yourself you know go outside you know get yourself some fresh air it's not it's not healthy to be uh uh coughed up or cooped up into into one location for a prolonged period of time and yeah sure a lot of locations a lot of businesses are closed at this time but it doesn't doesn't mean you still can't go outside you know usually people you know when they're inside, they usually go outside to go back inside. And what I mean by that is like you, you would go outside to like uh, go to, to go to see a movie and then you would go back inside. You know, this time actually like go outside, you know, go into nature's nature spaces, go into uh, go into parks, you know, walk alone, just take a brief or relax. You know, just walk walk alone. You know, stay away from technology. Get rid of that that uh, that phone radiation that's come that's emitting from your phone. Get rid of like any uh, you know 5G G. Uh, get away from that 5G radiation from towers. You want to be around nature spots that calm you. You know, relax you. Get away. Just just move away from toxic environments. You know, you need that peace of mind. You know, even if you're in that. Uh, in in this isolation this is a, this is again a great time to take advantage of and uh, i myself live in new york and so me living in new york i can see that uh, you know a lot of people are panicking most definitely i i can definitely i can definitely see that you know but at the same time there are people who are really you know relaxed Chill, chilling out you know i still see some people when i go into nature but when i go into parks i still see people chilling you know doing doing their everyday activities i see people playing basketball not as much people but it's it's great because there's less people right so now you now you got time to just chill out 
to yourself in less crowded environments that's a good thing that's a that's a that's a plus and remember that the human body is greater than any computer or any like master or supercomputer that we humans may invent the human mind is much more greater than any supercomputer and you know i wouldn't i wouldn't you know i want to front on the human body you know we got our immune system it's very our the human immune system is very powerful you know all we have to do is feed is take care of our body get rid of the toxins within our body feed our body healthy foods healthy foods will help you towards anything you know i've been i've been following following a plant-based diet for for years and it's helped with my focus and productivity you know and has also helped me with gaining gaining energy whenever i'm producing you know so you know just just stay healthy out there wherever you are and that will be the video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed feel free to leave a like and comment what are you what are your thoughts on the video what are you doing in this isolation how are you dealing with it what's going on how's your family dealing with it etc and so that will be the video thank you guys for watching peace